to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Styles and Rosenberg. I don't know if you guys saw this, but this was trending yesterday. OnlyFans is having a new look. They're saying that they're banning all pornography or anything that's sexually explicit on the site. Effective right, so, October 1st. So some of y'all about to be broke. But what does this mean for the people making money selling feet? I don't know because I don't know how. They selling feet and belly buttons on there. I don't know how they categorize that. I heard they were selling collarbones yesterday. What? Yeah, like some women get on there and they got a sexy clavicle. So they up on there slanging the clavicle. I mean, I'm assuming that's okay. I thought that they said they would still allow pictures. They just don't want the act happening. Oh, so you can be nude, but you can't have sex. Right. Okay, so OnlyFans. I'm wondering if like they have an IPO or they about to go public or some big funding or something about to happen. Well, well, they said that they just wanted the platform to last, so they just felt like moving in that same direction was in. You know, it just probably wasn't going to work. Well, also, I mean, the credit, the, oh, go ahead, Cass. The credit card companies are playing a part in this because what they're saying is that OnlyFans needs to. Pr- verify age mm. and consent of the people that are actually doing these things because mm. they just want to make sure they're not oh the child the porn got thing. you yo the they sickos if, always yo the sickos right. always mess everything up they're like yo if Makes this sense. doesn't happen we're not gonna allow payments to go through and right, so, right 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 and then, right the, the company statement was like um it's gonna evolve to ensure long-term sustainability on the platform to continue nope. to host Inclusive community creators and fans. Nope, sounds like Cas One is right on this one. <laughs> Yo, now I thought OnlyFans really was just for nudity and sex. I thought that's what it came from. Um, come to find out, the origins of OnlyFans was uh, people. It was almost like what's that thing? Cameo. Mm. Yeah, it's like Cameo. It was also like um, it was a thing where like, like Patreon, where you just pay to. To to, talk to, yeah, you could talk to like, you know, athletes would come on there and talk to their fans. Like, I didn't even know that. It's really, you can do whatever you want. Some people teach classes. Some people, you know, have little Oh, they teaching classes, all right. (laughs) 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 Yeah, they teaching on there. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Also, yesterday, Destiny's Child's fans were freaking out because (laughs) the official tour, Instagram and Twitter account decided to switch up like some pictures and logos and you know people are just very excited because you know the last time they saw Destiny's Child was on stage together at Coachella 2018 but you know nothing official but everyone started posting all you know old school pictures of them at Destiny's Child shows and stuff like that so I don't know Mm. they got very excited about it so what are they excited about that they they changed some photos or that there's like a new project coming so that's what they think they think it's the beginning of uh, you know of them gearing up to release some kind of news well I think look um, didn't Beyonce just say the other day that she's been recording for like a year or something Mm, I don't know. Did you you? Got, there was an article. There was an article I read that was oh, like Beyonce yeah, she recently says. Had a, yeah, it's a big interview. Yes, maybe. Yeah, I mean, look, she wears she she look. Beyonce done worked her way back into some cowboy <laughs> boots and a rodeo <laughs> down there in, in her Adidas in her Ivy Park. <laughs> yeah, then she done took Ivy Park to the rodeo. So you know, she on the way. It's happening. Let's I see. think I saw Beyonce's booty cheeks. You did. You did. I was like, yo, Beyonce showing cheekage? Yeah. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> I am not ready. All these years, I'm not ready now. Not now. Producer Grip says Matthew Knowles says nothing is happening, but who knows? Who knows? Wait, does he run Destiny's Child still? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe they're doing it without him. Who knows? I mean, I'm going to tell you one thing Beyonce ain't sitting around waiting for. Matthew Knowles to approve Destiny's <laughs> Child. <laughs> she a grown ass mom with three children. She's a billionaire. You think she's like, um, Dad? Do you think we could what? Now maybe he owns the name. Maybe that's a real thing. Maybe. Maybe he owns the name. 